All right, hello and welcome to a session of our Fit Essentials Basics. We're here in Chandler, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix at Tumbleweed Park. Got Diane here live and a few people online. So thanks for being here. Um, if you are using your B3 bands, we've just added air. Uh, if you're uh, more experienced, upper body and lower body, if you're getting started, we recommended the lower body today. So if you haven't added air, you can go ahead and pause your video, add your air now. And otherwise, let's go ahead and come on up to standing and we'll get ourselves moving. So I'm gonna start as we normally do with a couple cycles of our spinal cord breathing. So go ahead and place those feet just underneath those hips. Stand up nice and tall and draw your belly in, rocking those hips back with the soft bend the knees. Now we're gonna breathe in, go ahead and circle those arms around, palms and forearms together, draw those elbows in, and then blow the air out as you tuck your body into a little ball. As you're ready to breathe in, lift your chest, squeeze the glutes and go ahead and circle those arms around. Using those shoulders back and down. We're gonna do that three times total. So breathing out, tucking it down and in, drawing that chin to the chest. Breathing in, try to breathe in through the nose. Nice deep cleansing breath. Beautiful and out through the mouth. This is number two. We're gonna go one more time for number three. Deep breath in, try to spread those fingers nice and wide as well. Open up the palms of your hands. And then last, exhale, blow that air out, tuck the head down and in. When you're ready, relax the hands down and stand up nice and tall. Good job. From here, we're gonna to start to warm up our ankles next. So if you wanna balance against something, you can. If you wanna practice your balance without holding on, then go ahead and stand up nice and tall. Draw the belly in, squeeze the shoulders back, coming onto one foot, and we're looking to roll that ankle around. Anywhere between five and 10 times. If you need to set it down for a second, feel free to set it down or just simply keep it up and then change directions of that ankle roll. Shoulders down out of the ears, chest nice and tall. Ooh, hello, there's my balance. And when you're ready, we're gonna switch legs. So place that foot down. Lift on up and same thing, other side. Five to 10 circles each direction. Very good. And switch directions that ankle roll. Fantastic. And set it down from there. All right. I'm just gonna. Man, it's been so great. It's fun to have her both here. So we'll go ahead and get us both online. So when you're ready, we're gonna walk those feet and bring the hands up to the side. And we're gonna start our pause march. So you're gonna raise one hand, the opposite knee, and then we'll switch through that. You wanna to try to imagine you're like moving through mud. So we're intentionally moving slow on this set. Get it kind of started. This will challenge your balance a little bit as well as you draw the belly up. Go one arm, opposite leg, and then the other. Really focus on that stability as you lift everything up. Keep those shoulders down out of the ears. One more time. Both sides and rest. Good job. From here, set those feet about hip width apart and let's just circle those hips around. Very good. And then when you're ready, go to change direction, circle the hips the other way. Very good. All right, if you have a chair nearby, you can do a sit and stand or just work the upper part of the squat with us here. We're gonna call it a squat pulse. So you're gonna set those feet about hip width apart, eyes up, and then when you're ready, you're gonna reach your arms out, pull your hips back, keeping your heels planted. And for this first set, we're not trying to go as far as possible, but just a little bit of a quarter to a half the distance and then pull yourself tall. Good, pulling down, driving tall. As you start to move up, warm up through that motion, go ahead and increase your tempo just a little bit. So I pull myself back and I push into the floor to stand tall. Two to three more. Breathe in as you pull down, breathe out as you stand tall. One more and rest. Good job. From here, hands come together in front of the body and then open the hands and step it out. We call them our seal jacks. Close the hands, step the feet in. Open the hands, step the feet out. Excellent. Close, stepping in, open, stepping out. There we go. 
Find that rhythm. Nice. Shoulders down out of the ears, palms facing forward. Couple more. Smile, enjoy that sunshine. And two, one, and rest. Good job. Shake out the arms for a second. Set those feet in a new position, draw the belly in. And next we're gonna do our overhead reach. One side and then the other. Give a little side stretch with it, kind of bending to the side as you reach. Wonderful. Breathe in as you lower that hand down. Breathe out as you stretch across. Good, let's get about one more on each side. And rest, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go back to the top, but this time instead of a pause march, we're gonna move a little bit faster and add that cross body punch. So when you're ready, walk those feet in, draw that abdomen in, and here we go. One foot and the opposite hand. And now you wanna really punch that air, hands up high and breathe out with that punch. Wonderful. There you go. Keeping those eyes looking straight forward. As you raise the knee, lift the foot and toe. 10 seconds. Good, Shirley. Punch a little higher if you can. There it is. Nice, Christina. Two, one, and shake it out. Instead of our hip circles this time, we're going to move into our figure eights. Just find your belly button, and then just imagine you're going to trace that figure eight. Don't try to make it perfect. Just moving your body a little bit different. Loosen up the low back. Loosen up the hips. Good, see if you can imagine now trying to trace that figure eight the other way. Wonderful. Either keep those hands on the hips or just float them out to the sides, flowing through. All right, we're gonna get ready for our squats next. So if you wanna stick to that sit stand to the chair, or this time we're gonna work on getting a little bit deeper. So place the feet right about hip width apart. If you look down at your feet, you wanna have one foot pointing at about one o'clock on the dial. The other foot pointed about 11 o'clock. So imagine you had a big uh, face clock on the ground. So with that in position, when you're ready, you'll reach the hands out, push the knees wide as you pull your hips down. As far as you're confident and as far as you can keep your full foot planted. So the heels push down and we tend to lift up our toes. So see if you can push that big toe down. Wonderful. There we go. One or two more. Two, one, and rest. All righty, back to our seal jacks. Need a little bit more rest, take it. Otherwise, just keep moving with me here. Opening through the chest. Wonderful. All righty. And then last little bit here. That overhead reach, or you can imagine you're kind of picking apples out of the tree. So here we go, set the feet in that stationary position, draw the belly in, and now we're picking those apples, getting some bending through the torso as you reach up and across your body. So reach across the midline. Good. You got three more on each side. Wonderful, it's a great way to loosen up that low back, keep those shoulders moving. One more on each side and take a pause. All right, let's grab a drink of water. So in the next series, if you have a long band, we're gonna be using a long band. We're gonna be doing a seated single arm row. But first, it's going to be some deadlift work or some hinging. We're going to start with some good mornings. Actually, I'm going to, I meant to bring this closer. I'm going to move this whole setup a little bit closer. Hold tight. Boop, 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 because we are going to do some work seated, so I don't want to be too far away. Okay. See everything. All right, so when you're ready, without any weight, we're going to practice those good mornings. Just watch the video. Jumped on that little curve there. Set those feet to the toes or 
pointing forward. Check in with your midline. We tend to let our hips rock forward. So rock the hips back with a soft bend of the knees. You're gonna cross the arms over the shoulders. And now raise your elbows up as you send your hips back, drawing your chin in. So not a squat, but we're hinging at the hips. So bowing down, butt back, the left knee bend. Straight up, left knee butt back, butt back, butt back, better. And don't bend your knees until you have to. So hips push back, there we go, that's better one. And straight up, good job. Long spine, push the feet in stance, get about two more, elbows up. First, think hips back. That's a little bit One more, just like that. Hips back, hips back, hips back. Now you got it. Feel that. Good. And rest there. All right. So from here, we're going to sit down with the band. And we're going to be holding the band around the foot. So if you want to sit in the chair, I'm actually going to sit down here on the floor and just be a little bit closer. So you can either sit in the chair or I'm going to demo on the floor here. You're going to put that band around one foot. You're going to sit up nice and tall. So whether you're in the chair or on the ground, make sure you're right up on those sit bones. And then when you're ready, you're going to start with your right arm. You're going to reach it forward and then draw that elbow straight back. So my left arm is straight or just nice and neutral. And I'm doing all the movement through that right side. So reach it forward. Draw it back, getting some good movement through that shoulder blade, keeping the shoulder down out of the ear. And you wanna just imagine your shoulder blade is roughly the shape of a triangle. So you wanna think about pulling that triangle of your shoulder blade in as close as you can to your spine. Couple more. Breathe in as you reach forward, breathe out as you draw it back. Very good, and release. So those of you in the chair, you're gonna put your hands on your thighs, and slide down towards your toes. Anyone that's sitting on the ground like I am here, similar stretch, you're just gonna lean forward, reaching for the toes. And now breathe into your back. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time. When you're ready, make your way back up to seated. We'll go back to the band. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So put the band back around one foot. And now it's gonna be with your left arm. We'll give about 10 seconds here. Make sure everyone's in position. Sitting up on those sit bones. And when you're ready, now it's the left arm. Elbow draws back and reaching forward. Keeping the shoulder down out of the ear. Nice. And I'm giving a little rotation through the hand as well. So my palm is down as I reach forward. I rotate my palm up as I draw back. Reimagine that triangle, squeezing it in towards the center of your spine. Wonderful. Let's get about five more reps. We're gonna come up to standing next. And two, one and rest. Great job. Go ahead and set your band to the side. Make sure you have a clear space on your floor. Make our way up to standing. And then when you're ready, we're gonna practice either a side step or if you feel solid in your balance, you can imagine that imaginary hurdle for that step over. So either a side step or Diane's gonna demo the step over and I'll do the side step. If you feel a little bit unstable, then just keep your feet low, similar to that seal. If you feel like you can work that balance and really lift that leg up, it's good practice. Stabilizing up and over, over and back. Good. Let's get about two more. Really push that big toe down. What we practice when we practice those squats, that's going to help stabilize the ankle, the knee, and all the way up the hip. And take a pause. All right, grab a drink and then we'll be back. This time, if you have some light to moderate weights, we're gonna be using some deadlifts. Or you can stick with that good morning position of just bowing forward. Right. And then I'll also demo with the band. If you don't have any weights to use, you can stand on your band, just like so. Wrap it around the hands. 
and now I can deadlift like this. So when we're ready, you want all 10 toes, your feet pointing forward, stand nice and tall. You're either holding the weight between your legs or holding the band on the sides. When you're ready, long spine, sending your hips back, looking down towards the ground, and then push through the feet, squeeze the push and stand. There you go, long spine, and straight up. Nice. I'm gonna take a pause here, check in with Diane, and those of you online. In, back, back, back. That's beautiful. Good, just like that. And up. Nice. Let's see how we're looking here. Good. Yep. Now we want to focus on that mid back posture. So squeezing those shoulders back, not letting yourself round through the mid back. Nice, Christina. There you go, Shirley. Maybe one more time. Controlling it down. Push through the feet, standing tall. And then you can leave your weight back on the ground or wherever you want to rest it and make your way back to seated for that single arm row. It's going to be the right arm first. Keep it right there. Go back to your chair. Your hand to your left. All righty, so I'll stick down here on the floor. Take that band around the one foot. Put it up nice and tall. You can wrap the band around your wrist, kind of circle it around if you need a little bit more tension through there. And then when you're ready, we're gonna start with that right hand palm down towards the floor. As you draw that elbow back, rotate the palm up. Breathe in as you reach forward. Breathe out as you squeeze it back and in. And it's good practice to add a mini little pause there. Forward reach, backwards draw. You wanna think about trying to open your chest as much as you can. Inviting that shoulder to sit back. You want to avoid that rounded shoulder position. Breathe in, reaching forward. Breathe out, drawing back. A couple more. Oh, Moose is sad. Forward and back. And two, one, and rest. Good job. Instead of that forward fold, this time I'm going to join everybody seated. Anyone is on the floor, you can do cat cow like this if it's easy for you to get onto all fours. Or from a seated position, you're going to go hands on the thighs, draw your chin in towards the chest as you blow that air out, and then breathe in. Slide the hands up the thighs, open through the shoulders and chest. About three to five times there. Breathe out, draw that chin forward. Breathe in, slide the hands up the legs. Good. A couple more. Uh, get some good movement through that mid-back. If you ever feel stiff in your mid-back during the day, this is a great exercise to just add in. Do it in a lot of different places. You're okay, Moose. And rest. All right, we'll take about 15 seconds. We'll get that band in position for the opposite side. <clears throat> We're so bad. When you're ready, go ahead and wrap the band around the wrist if you need to shorten up. And now you should be on your left arm. Here we go, elbow draws back, chest nice and tall. Remember, we're rotating through that hand. Rotating down as you reach forward. Rotate up as you draw that elbow back. And isolate that one side. Good job, keep it rolling. Nice, Christina. Try not to lean forward through your chest so much. Just reach forward, but keep your chest up and then just move through your shoulder. So not so much through the chest. Yeah, just through that shoulder girdle. So let's get about three more. Check our time here. Forward and back. Forward, squeeze it back and take a pause. Good job. Make sure your space is clear that you're not gonna trip on anything and make your way back up to standing. Those of you that have air in the band, you can go ahead and press that little nozzle on your thighs or if you have the arm pieces on, hear that air release. And then we're gonna get ready for our side step or step over. All righty, standing up nice and tall, draw the abdomen in. If you are gonna do those step overs, especially reach your arms out to the side to help that balance. You can have a little hurdle. And then as you feel more stable, you can go a little bit bigger. Good job. 
lift that chest. I found myself starting to sink forward with my torso. So how tall can you stand? You wanna keep the shoulders stacked over your hips. And make sure both feet have to clear that hurdle. So sometimes we'll step high with the one and the second one goes low. So we gotta get both feet out of the bathtub and into the bathtub. 10 seconds left. Up and over, <laughs> over and back. Good. I hear the responses. I don't like baths. I like to shower. Maybe you have a high shower. And two, one, and take a pause. Good job, friends. All right, let's grab a drink of water, and then we're going to come back for one more set of those deadlifts and the banded row. Got a nice pretty flock of birds today. Thumbs up if you can hear me okay. All right. So let's head back to our deadlifts. Another way to make it a little bit heavier is you can hold two weights, one in each hand. So that's how I'm gonna demo here today. Walk those feet nice and wide, draw that abdomen in, squeeze those shoulders back. And then when you're ready, you're gonna send the hips back, use your upper body, keep it close to the center of gravity. Lowering that weight right between the feet, Keep that backside as you stand tall. Good now. Stand. Stand. And as we lower down, now we're going to squeeze. Squeeze that backside as you stand tall. Well, that's his friend from the other day. Yeah, that's Moose. That's his. That's his good friend Georgie. He met. They wrestled and wrestled. <laughs> They're like, that's my best, new best friend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good, stay focused. I know I'm not helping you to focus. Push through the feet, squeeze the glutes and stand. I mean, one more time, long spine. And all the way up. Good, on that next rep, go ahead and set your weights down if they're gonna rest on the ground. We're all done with those for now. <laughs> yeah, Moose made a new best friend. All right, we're gonna finish with the banded from the seated. So go ahead and make your way with your long band to that seated position. We're gonna do both arms back to back on this round. And I'm gonna stay a little bit closer to the computer to make sure that no one gets toppled over here. We got some happy dogs running around. All righty, I think we're good. So when you're ready, right arm first. Two, one, here we go, elbow draws back. Hand reaches forward. We're gonna go about 30 seconds in one arm, and then we're simply gonna switch sides to that opposite arm. Long reach, that shoulder down out of the ears. Breathe in as you reach forward, breathe out as you draw back. Very nice. 10 seconds left. So one more on this arm and release. Good job. We're going to just stay where you are and then the same thing on your left arm. So when you're ready, start to draw that left shoulder back and down. Rotating through the hand, palm rotates up. As you reach forward, palm down. Animals can make faster friends so much easier than humans. <laughs> breathe in, reaching forward, breathe out, drawing back. They also can probably make enemies a little bit faster too. <laughs> staying tall. Are they the same breed? Um, they're actually both reservation dogs. We met these dogs, this dog too, when we were here on uh, Monday as I was finishing up. All right, one more rep here. Two, one, and rest. Stay where you are. We're gonna do one stretch before we come back to our feet. I'm gonna join you in the chair. Let's get our mid-back rotation. So let's start with your left hand. It's gonna be our right. We're gonna bring it behind the head. Take your, boy, on the inside of the knee. So as you breathe in, bring that elbow towards the opposite side. And then sitting tall, rotating, looking over that shoulder. Five times each side, breathing in, coming down, breathing out, rotate across. Pausing in that open position. Down, up, and pivot. Maybe one more, I lost track. All right, when
When you're ready, we're gonna switch sides. Same thing, opposite side. Draw that elbow back. Out. Breathing in as you rotate out. Number three, pausing in that rotation. Down. Let's go one more time. Really bold as you look over that elbow. Look behind you. And when you're ready, come on up to standing. We're going to finish this circuit with those step overs or those lateral steps. And then we're going to have one more circuit after this for those of you that are, have some energy left. So standing tall, draw that abdomen in, arms to the side. And then when you're ready, coming up and over. Both feet clear that hurdle and over and back. Nice. Just depending with your confidence with it, you can move a little bit faster. But make sure you're stable if you're trying to move faster. Push that big toe down, drawing up through your belly. Good. 15 seconds. And now those shoulders tend to creep up into our ears. So keep drawing them back, keeping that chest open. One more time, over and back. And two, one, and everybody rest. Nice All right, let's grab your water. We'll do a couple stretches before our last circuit. So anyone that can't stay for the last circuit, if you can't stay for these next couple of stretches. First one's gonna be our hip flexor opener. So we're gonna stand in that stagger stance. Uh, Diane and I are gonna place our uh, left foot forward. So those of you on screen, go and take your right foot forward so we can mirror each other. Opposite foot steps back. You're gonna lower that foot back so you're on both feet nice and firm. Go ahead and take the arms. We're gonna cross the hands over the shoulders. And now we're gonna raise the chest, raise those elbows, shift that back hip forward and rotate towards your right or left. Breathing out as you rotate, squeeze your tush and turn the head and neck, looking over your right shoulder. <laughs> Unwind from there, relax those arms down for a minute. We're gonna do that one one more time. So I'm gonna rock those hips back, rock my hips forward, lift my arms, lift my chest, and then turn the torso, turning towards your right. Breathing and release. Great job. In between sides, just shake out those arms and switch up your feet. Anchor the other foot down, step that other foot back. Chest up, eyes up. Go ahead and cross those arms with both feet anchored. Now I'm gonna shift the hip first, squeeze the bum, lift the arms, lift the chest, rotate towards your left. Smile. Breathe, unwind one more time. Arms rest down, hips shift back, forward, elbows up, and turn that torso. One more breath here, and go ahead and release. Nice job. Shake it out. All right, final stretch here. Uh, feel free if you want to balance yourself. This is gonna be that harder stretch. We're gonna to try to grab the foot and stretch out those quads. So best you can, if you need to hold on to something, do it. Otherwise, we're looking to try to grab that foot or elevate it somewhere and then pulling it towards your hip, pulling the heel towards your bum. Chest tall. And if this is a tough one to do, just kind of notice your self-talk. Are you beating yourself up about it? Are you saying negative things to yourself? Try to speak kindly. If you are doing it and your balance is off, sometimes the same thing can happen. When you're ready, release that side. Take a moment. And then when you're ready, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Lift up, draw that belly in, holding on. And we're grabbing back. Soft bend in the knee. Those of you staying for our final circuit, we're gonna be working our balance tandem stance or single leg stance with some squatting practice in between legs. 
And then either a little bit of rest or a little bit of blood flow at the end. When you're ready, release that foot and shake it out. All right, let's get ready for this last circuit. So I'm gonna uh, start with the tandem stance. I'm gonna recommend that for everybody. So for the tandem stance, it's like standing on a tightrope. You're gonna start with your right foot in front. Step your right foot forward and then left foot, you're gonna bring the toe to the heel as close as you can behind the body. Draw the abdomen in, stack those shoulders right over your hips. And here we go. Arms out to the side if you can. Yeah. Just like when you watch those tightrope people and they're like holding a bar to help balance sometimes. Shoulders down out of the ears, chin draws in. Squeeze the tush. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, just close your eyes for a moment. Then you'll really feel that balance. That's too much. Just find a spot to focus on. And two, one, and release. So keep an eye. You should have had your right foot forward, our left. In between sides, now we're going to practice that squat again. So set the feet, belly draws in. And when you're ready, reach those arms out, push those knees wide, working on that depth. And then drive through your feet and stand. Good job. Rolling down. Aren't they best friends? Standing tall. I told them, I bet you, I was like, they're like, oh, Moose is such a good guy. I'm like, we'll be back here on Thursday. <laughs> they came. Maybe they come every day. Who knows? Good job. Staying focused, sitting back, push that big toe down. One more time. Back, 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 eyes up, chest up, pull yourself upright. All right, let's balance out the opposite side of the tandem stance. Our left, your right foot forward. Walk the left foot directly behind. Draw the midline in, stack those shoulders. And here we go. Eyes looking forward. Closing the eyes if you'd like. Wonderful, halfway through, keep squeezing that tush, lifting up. Imagine you've got those friends coming down, those guidelines or guide wires from the heavens, holding that balance. Final five seconds, and two, one, and release. Step the feet out. Awesome job. All right, so here's where you can take a break before we go into round two, or it's really good. You notice here, I'm keeping the ball of the feet on the ground. I'm just giving a really soft little bounce. Just kind of shaking my body a little bit. Get that lymphatic system going. Clear out all the toxins in your body. You can raise the arms in the air. Just give a really soft little subtle bounce. Woo! Breathe. Those shoulders get tired, then just lower the arms down, take them out to the sides. You want to move a little bit more, then just move a little bit more. 10 more seconds. Woo! Shake the body, dance the body. Two, one, and rest. All righty. 30 seconds, and we'll be back for another set. On this second round, this will be our last circuit before we do our cool down stretch. You can stick with that tandem stance we've been practicing, or if you want a little bit more challenge, then you can practice a single leg balance. That's what we're gonna be uh, demoing here. All right, 10 seconds. Getting ready to balance on your left foot, or if you choose the tandem stance, press the left foot in front. Anchor down and two, one, here we go. Drawing up and onto that one foot. Common things that we tend to have happen here, the hips tend to kick out. So really think about lifting up. Lift this ankle. If you wanna give a little extra challenge, you can do some ankle rolls here. Roll that ankle around. Switch directions when you're ready. Final 10 seconds, keep drawing strong. And three, two, one, and shake it out. All right. This is coming up next is our final squatting of the day. So if you wanna hold a little bit of weight, you can hold some weights in your hand or just continue to reach your arms out. Keep the feet outside the hips, chest nice and tall, and when you're ready. If the weight's light enough, you can still reach it out in front of the body if you feel stable through the shoulders, or you can hold it against your chest. So whatever you prefer, but if you have a nice light weight, then it should feel like you're strong enough to reach it out in front of the body as you lower down, pull it in as you stand tall. Good. 
Big toe pushes down, beautiful. And now we wanna work on those little muscles of the pelvic floor. So try to draw everything up and in. See if you can wake up some of those small muscles, controlling down, standing tall. Take about 15 more seconds, but if you are done with your squats before then, or have had enough, then just pause. One or two more with your squats. And last one if you're up for it. Reach, pull tall, and rest. Wonderful. You're welcome. All right, all we have left is our balance and our dance or rebounding work. So you should be onto your right leg. We'll be on our left. Tandem stance or single leg. Give about 10 seconds here, kind of catch your breath for a moment. All righty, when you're ready, place the foot, lift on up, and here we go. Make sure you're not starting to shrug here, so shoulders down. If you need to check your balance, just set it down, pick it up. You wanna roll that ankle around. To the challenge. All right, final 10 seconds. Watch those hips keep lifting up, shoulders down. Eyes forward, squeeze those shoulder blades behind you. And two, one, everybody rest. Wonderful. All right, before we go into that rebounding, let's just place both feet on the ground and circle through the hips. Those hips, yeah, one of my favorites. Yep. Ah. Good, when you're ready, reverse directions, those hip circles nice and fluid. I haven't forgot about that rebounding and that dancing. All right, so when you finish those circles, go ahead and walk those feet in. And then one more time here, standing nice and tall. If you have a chair nearby, you can always hold onto the chair. And again, it's just a really subtle, just up and down with the heels, right? You can also kind of use the arms. Just give them a little bit of a shake to the body, up and down. There you go. You're moving your lymphatic system, inviting your body to clear those toxins. If you wanna move the arms a little bit, move the arms. You have 20 seconds left. Smile if you feel goofy. I'm smiling, I feel goofy. Almost there. Just free flow, move your body, yeah, Christina. Woo, and two, one, and everybody done. All right, awesome, awesome job. Grab that drink of water, and then we're gonna stretch. All right, let's go ahead and come down to seated to stretch. So we're gonna sit on the chair. up nice and tall. We're going to repeat that forward fold that we did earlier in the session. So draw the belly and hands on the knees and then slide down the shins, chin to the chest, breathing into that mid back. As you breathe in, try to expand the back of your rib cage as you breathe out. See if your chest wants to come a little bit closer to the ground. One more time. On that next inhale, gradually start to come back to seated, sitting up nice and tall. Wonderful. From here, we're going to stretch out our shoulders a little bit with the tricep stretch. So let's take your right hand, reach it high in the sky, raising it straight up, and then bend that elbow. We're trying to scratch the back behind us. Opposite arm is going to reach around. Draw that chin in as you pull that elbow back. Emphasizing how tall you can sit here. If you feel stable and want to add a gentle side bend, you can bend away from the side you're stretching. Up and down a few times, breathing in as you come back to neutral, breathing out as you give a little side bend. Breathing in, sitting tall, breathing out, gentle side bend. And release those arms. In between arms, Let's do our cat cow again. So hands on the thighs. Check the sides so you can see me a little bit better. So 
draw that chin in, draw those shoulders forward as you breathe out. When you're ready to breathe in, sit tall, squeeze the shoulders back, lift the head. Twice more, exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, sitting tall. Good, last time. Wonderful, let's balance out those shoulders. Tricep stretch on your left arm. Nope, you're right. No, we bet that way. Get your left. <laughs> Raise it straight up in the air. Draw that chin in. Bend that elbow. And reaching up and around. How many times do I do that? I'm like, oh, let's add a stretch in between the sides. And I forget. Which side are we on? Sitting tall. Pulling that elbow back. Option to add that side bend. Bending away from the side that you're stretching. Breathing in, sitting tall, breathing out, bending to the side, maybe one more. And go ahead and release the arms, beautiful. Last one before we finish with the head and neck. Let's go ahead and take your left arm, raise it up in the air, bring it across, grab onto your right knee and hold on to your chair with your right hand. From here, draw the abdomen in, slide down the outer aspect of your leg reaching for the floor or your ankle. Breathing into the side of your body. And when you're ready, gradually sit up nice and tall and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now your left hand holds on, right hand comes across and nice and smooth, sliding down, getting that nice stretch on the opposite side of the body. And when you're ready, making your way back up to seated. All right, let's do one more seated twist and then we'll finish with the head and neck. So similar starting position, you're gonna take your left hand, grab onto your right thigh this time and now let's cross that leg over if you're comfortable to do so. It's a little bit weird with the bands on, but just work with it here. And now you'll take your right hand onto the shoulder. We wanna encourage the shoulder up and back as we pull into this thigh and then turn our body the other way. So breathing in, try to sit as tall as you can. Breathing out, see if your spine wants to rotate a little bit more. Continue to look over that shoulder. Good, when you're ready, release that side and same thing on the opposite side. You can also keep the feet flat on the ground as you grab onto that thigh, left hand to the left shoulder, and now here we go. Turn the head and neck. Now this is quite a few. They did. Yeah. It's like, all right, come back, babies. Up and around, up and back, turning the head and neck. A couple more breaths. and release. Great job. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. Sit on my block. And we're gonna finish with our head and neck. Ugh. Alrighty, so sitting up nice and tall, let's go flexion and extension. So we're gonna draw the chin in, looking down towards the floor. This should give you a gentle stretch in the back of the neck. And then from there, gently looking up. Lift the chest as you look up, then taking it back forward. From here, let's start to circle the head just ever so gently, circling around. We'll go about three circles one direction and then switch. Never ever forcing, especially your neck stretches. When you're ready, circle the head the other way. Working to keep some movement through there. One more time. Wonderful. Next, let's roll through those shoulders. So we're going to bring the shoulders up and into our ears and then up and back. You can move those arms to help as well. So up and in, up and back. Kind of alternate which arm comes on top 
go. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Wonderful. Up and back with the neck. So just tilting the head side to side. And instead of thinking about dropping your ear towards your shoulder, I want you to think about raising your ear towards the ceiling or towards the sky. So I think about raising this ear up as I tilt the head and then I'm just going side to side. Good. All right, second to last, chin in. Let's do our rotation. So draw that chin in, turn your head, looking over your shoulder. And you can take one or two fingers up on the cheekbone to just ever so gently encourage that rotation. Turn your eyes as well, like you're trying to see how far can I look over that shoulder. And release, same thing other side, draw the chin in and then gently turn the head. Hello, sunshine. One or two fingers on the cheekbone. Try to turn those eyes looking over that shoulder. And release there, wonderful. All right, our finishing breaths together. When you're ready, breathing in through your nose, elevate those shoulders up and into the ears, breathing out through the mouth. Draw the shoulders down twice more, breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Breathe in love. And just breathe out all the stress. Let it go. Don't hold it in your body. Very good. You give yourself a little round of applause. All right. Thank you, friends. Thanks for those of you that are here live. You're all feeling good. Drink your water and enjoy your day.